All right, we're going to do some traditional pot roast. We're doing quart jars. I got seven and a half pounds of chuck roast. We're going to cut up, cube it up. Spread it out evenly in the jars. And then uh, we're going to cut it up just like that, put it in the jars. And we'll come back once that's done. All right, we got all our meat in the jars. This is what I use. We're going to take six packets of this and put two tablespoons in each jar. And we're going to keep going until we get all our jars full. All right, I lied. It was only four packets for two tablespoons apiece. I already went ahead and cut up one whole onion. And I cut up five pounds of potatoes. I did that first, and the potatoes have been soaking while I do this. So we're just going to evenly divide the onions. Onions in. All right. First thing I did was peel and cut the potatoes and then had them sitting in a bowl of water soaking to get rid of some of the starch. Now, once we get to this point, you can start packing the jars. Nice and tight. Some folks like celery. This is a good time to put your celery in. I don't like celery, so I don't put celery in. You could even put mushrooms in. Whatever you like. We're going to start packing it as tight as you can get it. Leaving room for our last ingredient, which is carrots. And we'll keep going until we get to the carrots. All right, time to put the carrots in. Now that it's getting full, you can really cram it in there. You still want to leave about a one inch head space. But the more you cram it in there, the better. Don't be afraid to stuff. And we're going to continue till they're all full of carrots. All right, we got our jars packed tight. Now, another variation of this 
you could fill these up one inch headspace with some beef broth. And then when you opened it, you could make you some gravy and it would be more like a stew. But I'm just going to go with the pot roast for now. Wipe our rims. Continue till we get all our rims clean. All right. Lid on. Ring on. When it moves, ready to roll. Lid, ring, just like that. In the canner they go. Put our lid on. Corks, we're going to process for 90 minutes. Place the lid on top, lining up the arrows. Now here you want to make sure the lid is level. Look at both sides, all four sides, making sure that there's not a big gap on one side and a small gap on the other. And then place your clamps opposite each other first. Lightly, lightly screw them down. Opposite sides, screw them down. And the goal here is to keep it straight, so you're going to do opposite sides a little at a time. And work your way around until they're all tight. Now our oven is extremely consistent, so we've learned that we put it on seven. And now we're gonna wait. Once it starts venting, you'll see about that high. You don't always see the steam. But when you can feel it 12 to 18 inches above the pot coming out pretty strong, that's a strong vent. You're going to set a timer for 10 minutes and let it vent for 10 minutes. And then you're going to place your weight on it. Just like that. And then you're going to keep an eye on it. Once it starts to jiggle, it comes up to 10 pounds of pressure or the pressure for your area. That's when you start your timer for your food. Here we got pints of meat. So we're doing 75 minutes. Now that we started jiggling, we're going to turn it down to six on our stove. Just like that. And we're, we've got our timer set for 75 minutes. All right, 75 minutes is up. We're going to turn the stove off. And now we're going to wait until the pressure comes down to zero. All right, pressure's at zero. So we're going to remove our weight. And now we're going to set a 10 minute timer. After 10 minutes, we're going to come and we're going to remove the lid and just set it off to the side for another 10 minutes. And this slows the process down to prevent siphoning. The longer this takes, doesn't hurt anything. If you were to go to bed right now, leave it in the pot, doesn't matter. We generally do more than one batch a day, so... 
usually about 10 minutes. So just set it off to the side there. That, that just prevents the pressure from releasing too fast. And we'll come back and take Take the jars out. Not all of them's pained yet. There's a couple that haven't pained. But when they're bubbling and boiling like that, they will. Give them 12, 24 hours. Don't touch them, don't mess with them, don't tighten the rings, don't take the rings off, don't push the buttons. Just let them be for 12 to 24 hours. And you'll be good to go. All right, we're going to cook up the trad traditional pot roast. Basically, we're just going to heat it up in, the, in a, the pot. Now, you could do your tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of flour and thicken this up if you want. And it'll be more like a stew. And it's good either way. All right, we're going to heat this up. All right, there you have it. Now, I like to add a little Tony's to mine. Enjoy.